play these boys over here. <laughs> we know guys who played at elite level in this league for a long time, you know, just the, the greats of this game. And so that's that's what I strive for every day is to just be consistent, consistently great every day to uh, hopefully one day look up and, and be proud of the, the work I put in. Trent Williams was talking the other day about you being a tone setter. Uh -huh. How important is that to you? This Trent Williams? Yeah. Me? Yeah. Am I calling? Yeah. That, you said it's a tone setter. <laughs> He's like, I heard my uh, name, didn't I? Yeah, he did tone setter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so, but, you know, the fact that you and, and we saw you out there during camp. And Shanahan was talking earlier this year about he loves the fact that you poke and prod and you take things right to the line sure. but back off at the right time sure. and, and get guys going. How big is that to you as far as part of your game and your the way you approach things? Yeah, um, you know, I think what I was what I was mentioning earlier is just whatever I can do to help get the most out of my teammates and that's only gonna make me better at the end of the day. The more I'm out there talking noise, mm -hmm. challenging I have no choice but to be at the top of my game because if I'm over there talking all that noise and I'm not performing, then it's just talk, you know. So you gotta you gotta back that up with performance, execution. Um, so I, I, you know, I just take a lot of pride in it. Do you have a little mental notebook in terms of all right? I'm gonna get this guy tomorrow <laughs> on this, or you know, or is it all just natural? All no, it's close. natural. It's natural. <laughs> you you gotta be yourself at the end of the day. I never go out there and try to do too much uh, outside of myself. Whatever you see out there on the field, that's that's the truest me. Uh, I think that's what the greatest thing about football. You go out there, you be your truest form of yourself. Uh, you know, you t put that helmet on, and you, you might you might swear a little. I, you know, I try not to <laughs> too much, but uh, um, you know, you just go out there, you have fun, and you, you and it's a it's a it's a physical game, aggressive game, um, and you just get to let it all out when you're out there. Fields Rant was one of the few guys that got 100 yards on you guys last year. And what kind of challenges does he present? I mean, you, have, you have a guy like that now quarterbacking you. Yeah, both came out the same year, both uh, similar play styles with the with how they can use their legs right. Um, Justin's very talented, and you mentioned he got a lot of yards on the ground against us, you know, just guys being out of gap. And some of them just him making a play, you know. That's, that's the thing that he's got to his advantage is, um, you know, just – the ability to make a play when they need it. As when you have 4-4 four, four speed and can pick up yards with your feet or extend plays, that's a big thing that we got to be on top of. Draymond Green, you know, I don't know how much you follow Draymond, but uh -huh. he wears that. Like he, He's memorized all the guys who were drafted. He can tell you one through 36 or whatever who was drafted ahead of him. Sure. You kind of wear that too? Yes and no. Um, do I? Do I think that I could have been drafted higher? I guess, but at the end of the day, I would never have wanted to be drafted anywhere but here. You know, when I came out from a uh, little BYU, I was not the Fred Warner you see today. Like I was uh, somebody that had to be molded and, and grow in a system for four or five years in order to become who I am. And uh, super, super grateful to be um, drafted to the Niners under a great coaching staff, people, players who have helped me grow. So I would never take any of that back, you know. And I, I do just keep a chip on my shoulder, all the things that were said about me going, coming out. Um, but other than that, I'm super grateful for where I was chosen. Yeah. I think you jumped in pretty fast. You were, like the first year you had the helmet and everything. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and some of it is just opportunity presents itself and you just got to be ready for the moment. Um, they knew I could handle a lot just in terms of just the mental side of the game. And uh, I had enough physical capability to be out there and run the defense, but I wasn't. I wasn't close to where I, I needed to be in terms of playing at a high level, so that took a lot of growth and uh, and development. Between you and Aziz and, and Dre, you guys seem like you're almost never apart. You're always talking together on the sidelines. And how, how much? I mean, I know they talked about you, Trent, saying you're the tone center, but you see that your position, you three guys actually doing that. Yeah, and um, that's that's the special thing about us is we we've been together for three years now. Um, I think it's three. Three years, they're going into year four. I'm going to year five um, as as starters on this on this defense, and we we're very close off the field and on the field, and that kind of just carries over into our game. The chemistry, be able to play off one another. Uh, we all take pride of just running to the football, running and hitting, setting the tone, talking noise. I mean, it's, it's, that's that's what it's all about. I think that's what you need out of your second level players is the ability to flow and, and create plays. It's honestly like the modern. NFL linebackers now. I mean, they don't look like they used to. 250, 60, 260 pound guys sure, out yeah. there anymore. But all you guys look like you can run, go sideline to sideline. 
that's what that's what's required in our defense. You know, we we got to cover the the vertical of, of of three. You know, whether it's a receiver or, or a tight end, or cover the running back out of the backfield, run sideline to sideline, and like you mentioned, like that's just what football is now. So. That's what they're. That's what the Niners are looking for when they're drafting players or when they're bringing guys in, and so that's what we do. Your combine, uh, like thirty-eight and a half inch vertical. That's pretty good hops, right? Did you play basketball in high school and stuff? No, I actually didn't play high school. I, I played a little growing up and uh, got to high school and just focused on football. I had to grind it out to to make a name for myself, and it worked out. You might be able to dunk, you know, thirty-eight. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't tried to dunk in a while, you know, you don't want to don't risk anything, uh, but yeah. Watch a lot of their defense. How, how's it look? They look solid. Um, they got a lot of um, really good players over there. Um, you know, a guy like Robert Quinn, who had over 18 sacks last year. Uh, Rokon Smith really can uh, fly around and make plays around the entire field and uh, we feel like they have a really strong secondary all across the board so um, we're not taking anybody lightly. How's your offense looked to, to you, you know, this new quarterbacks and new players, how's it looked this summer for, to you? I think this looks really good. I think um, Trey adds a little extra element of being able to do things on his feet. Uh, you know, he's a great athlete. He's got a big arm, uh, so I think he's going to add a little extra dimension to our offense this year. Is week one any different than the regular from any other weeks in the regular season? It is a little bit, um, especially for us going against new coordinators. Um, you really don't know until you see it. And so, you know, we can look at places that they've coached before, what they were doing in the preseason, um, and get an idea, but you really don't know what they're gonna, pre gonna present until you see it on Sunday. What do you think of the schedule where you guys had almost three weeks between the last preseason game and week one? A little different this year. Yeah, definitely a, a little different there. Um, you know, there's kind of an awkward space in there where you're still kind of in preseason mode or you're getting ready for the season. Uh, but I feel like we handled it really well. We still um, had some productive practices, got a little bit better. And, and stayed healthy in the process, um, so we're feeling good right now. Last one for you. You're, you know, you're a six-time Pro Bowler. You've been in the league a long time. Um, how is, how, how are you a different player than you were when you were coming out of Harvard? Oh man, uh, it is night and day. I'm a completely different player. Uh, I'm 30 pounds lighter than I was my rookie year, um, and I have just a totally different knowledge of the game, uh, and I, I approach things differently. Um, than I did back when I was a young young cat out of Harvard. Good luck this season. Yeah, thank you very much. Thanks so much, Kyle. Kyle, Appreciate do you ever get uh, first game butterflies? And if you do, how do you come back? Is that the first hit? Um, <laughs> may, yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, you know, some you, you kind of get that every game. Uh, it, it's a lot less now in, in year 10. Uh, but it, it really is, it's that first hit. It's um, it, as soon as you can physically run into somebody, the, those butterflies really go out the window. You guys are going to play on September 11th. It's America's game. I'm sure there'll be a flag out there. What are your kind of thoughts on football being back, but also it's a day of remembrance and, and that kind of thing? Yeah, I think um, I think the two go together really well because I think uh, football is America's sport, and I really think it brings people together. Uh, so I, I think it's kind of fitting that we play on this day and um, get a little remembrance of you know American pride. Kind of sorry you've already answered this, but you know you, you spend all of training training camp banging against each other, and then you get to actually game plan for something specific. How, how refreshing is that for you? Today? Extremely, extremely refreshing. I'm a, I'm a big fan of uh, getting into a game plan. Uh, just because things become more specified, more detailed, uh, and I'm. I've had enough running into Dre Greenlaw and Aziz Al Shayer. Um, I can I get to run into some some guys with a different jersey now. As 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 line, are you been... happy to see us back? <laughs> <laughs> I do like you guys, but I like to have my time to get ready for practice too. You guys lined up in practice, looking directly across the line at, at, at Fred Warner. Yeah. Can you describe for me what you think the impact he has on an opposing offense, just in terms of? Yeah, um, I think, you know, Fred is very vocal, so you, you can see uh, him running around, bringing energy to a defense. Uh, you can see him communicating to everybody, getting everybody lined up, um, so you know that you're going against a, a smart player over there and one that can really play sideline to sideline.